nicest guy in Hollywood spent more than half a century entertaining audiences around the world with heartwarming television series and beloved feature films. Born and raised in the Bronx, Gary's mother shaped his sense of humor with her charisma and wit. She said, don't be boring. You gotta make people laugh and smile and make them happy. And I said, I don't know what is boring. And she said, your father. Gary earned notoriety as a TV writer before his breakout success with the ABC hit, The Odd Couple. Can two divorced men share an apartment without driving each other crazy? This kicked off a string of audience favorites like ABC's Laverne and Shirley, Mork and Mindy, and Happy Days. Happy Days to me was the show where the cast had the best chemistry on and off the stage. And off the stage was really a pleasure to be with these people. Gary brought his talents to the big screen, proving himself to be a successful director with fans and at the box office. Stone's Pretty Woman. Enough cannot be said of my relationship with Gary Marshall and what that's done for me as a person, just having the confidence to be funny and goofy. <laughs> We're starting a movie, as a day. who knows what it's about? Gary directed an abundance of blockbuster films, like Disney's Princess Diaries. Shut up! Gary was known to step in front of the camera as well, popping up in dozens of small roles in film and television. Gary, go along! You can be a tight end! He took his talents to the stage, directing plays and operas, and founding his own theater in Burbank. The bank is open! His mantra to anyone who was beginning to succeed in business was, don't ever forget that life is more important than show business. And he lived that. Gary is known for always putting fun before business and his family style of directing and playfulness on set. <laughs> Gary's talent for heartfelt comedy created countless moments that the world will forever enjoy. Out of everything that you've done, what do you most want to be remembered for? That I made people laugh and made uh, their day a little better. I don't, I always said, I don't, I don't know how to change the world, but I can change the day for you. <laughs> I make you laugh and happy one day. such a great man and a phenomenal talent with an incredible sense of humor when Gary left us this year. He made movies beloved by millions and created sitcoms that captivated audiences and captured the culture. His humor always had such a great heart, which is the hallmark of a master storyteller, and the reason his work continues to touch people even decades after it premiered. And we're grateful for his many, many contributions the Walt Disney Company over his incredible career. We're proud to honor him as a true Disney legend. So please join me in welcoming Gary's children, Scott and Kathleen Marshall, to the stage. He's, uh, our dad's up there right now, and I'm sure he's thinking, Oi, you're following Oprah. Good luck. <laughs> but uh, he took us to Disneyland a lot when we were kids, and uh, he would never go on the rides so much. He loved a bench, and there were plenty of benches at Disneyland. And he once said, Walt understood a bench. And I guess Walt came up with the idea for Disneyland while sitting on a bench in Griffith Park. And Gary came up with a lot of jokes for his shows and scenes for his movies while sitting on those benches. And after he'd done a couple movies uh, at, uh, on the Disney lot, the studio gave him, which he loved, by the way, the studio gave him his own bench, the Gary Marshall bench. And it's on the corner of Minnie Mouse Boulevard and Dopey Drive. And he loved that bench. And after he died, we went there, and people had put flowers in it, little post-it notes that said, thank you. And. Um, so I think that Walt and Gary would both want you all to sit on a bench and daydream because 
You might just change the world. So thank you so much. He would have been thrilled with this prestigious honor. He loved working for Disney. He loved, thank you, Bob Iger. You were so supportive of him and Disney. He, thank you so much. And he would have loved to be in the company of such incredible artists that are being honored today who, were pa who are passionate about their work as he was. So thank you so much. Thank you very much.